Joker 2 is going to be a fantastic movie, or not. I know absolutely it's going to be a fantastic movie. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. Because we talk movie news, superhero news, coming up in April. We're going to have Super Tuesday. going to be making its triumphant return. That will be 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on this channel. Live superhero talk. Then we're going to have Casual Friday on Fridays. And maybe some fun stuff in between. We're going to do these little videos as well. So let's talk Joker 2. Why Joker 2 is going to be such a great movie based on what? Well, let's base it on the fact that Harley Quinn is in it, played by Lady Gaga. Set photos uh, are starting to leak out. And we got our first glimpse of what she will look like in this sequel, Joker 2, French title. Uh, I look... I saw this, I heard people complaining about it earlier, and I thought that her look was stellar, it was perfect. This is what I wanted Harley Quinn to look like because I'm greedy and selfish. It wasn't what I wanted her to look like. I didn't know what I was expecting her to look like or look like. But when I look at this, I think this is as good as we've got in the Harley Quinn in live action for costume. And this is in the Joker movie, which of course is a more grounded, down to earth, realistic approach to the character, more Martin Scorsese style. Or not, not sure if they're going to go to the Scorsese route on this one, but it, this is the vibe that I got from her. Of course, it's a musical, it might be a dance number, I don't know, but I look at this, I see Harley Quinn, but I see a sophisticated Harley Quinn. That's not to say a less psychotic Harley Quinn, which I am confident we're going to be getting in this, but this is one that I am all in on. Let's take a look at it. Kind of reminded me a little bit of the first costume from The Suicide Squad with Margot Robbie. Absolutely love that movie. Can't wait for this one. Joker 1 was phenomenal. I have no reason to believe that Joaquin Phoenix would sign off on this if this one also wasn't shaping up to be phenomenal. Now, I know people started hating Todd Phillips because of things he said about comedy. I, whatever. I don't even know what he said. I'm not going to pretend to know what he said. But the first movie was great. I thought it looked phenomenal. I thought it, I think it got robbed at best of photography personally. But you look at now you got Harvey Dent. If you look at these set photos, you see a sign that says Dent is the clown. And this is at a courtroom. This is outside a courthouse, which tells you that Harvey Dent could potentially be in this movie. Does the timeline work out because he's obviously a Batman villain? More along the lines of the Joker is too, but Batman is not going to be old enough in this movie. Uh, I don't think they're making that big time jump, and I don't know. I wouldn't suspect Batman being in this because then you get Batman in this, you have Batman in the Batman, and then Batman in the James Gunn Batman movie, which is just too much Batman. And we heard that they are going to have four Batman on the screen at the same time. So I would suspect that Batman will be not be in this movie, but Harvey Dent will be. But will Harvey Dent be? Two Face. Well, he turned into Two Face, and I think all signs would ultimately point to no. But, however, I do want to bring up an argument for it possibly happening. Obviously, the Joker turned Two Face into Two Face in the Dark Knight. Movie. One of my least favorite parts of the movie was the way he turned into. I mean, the situation getting there was great, but I like the courtroom stuff. That in front of you win now. Um, Really though, we're gonna have a courtroom scene with uh, courtroom scenes with the Joker. Obviously, what do those entail? I don't know. Why is he in there? Probably because of what happened after the talk show in the first movie. I would suspect Harley Quinn, Harley Quinzel, Harleen Quinzel, whatever is gonna become of her at this point is gonna be there to witness her. But the reason why I think Harvey Dent could transform into Two Face. In this. Not saying it's a guarantee or anything, and I part of me doesn't believe it happening either, but why it could happen is the first movie featured Thomas Wayne Heaven. And I never suspected going into the movie that I would see this, and I afterwards we did, and that it was the murder of Tom, Thomas, and Martha Wayne. That happened in that movie. Now we're gonna obviously get Joker, then we get then we get Harley Quinn in this. Is there room for a third one? Well, let me bring this to your attention as well. The second comic book movie, for whatever reason, always features two villains. And obviously this is a villain-centric one, so blah, blah, but you know what I mean. So the fact that you would get Harley Quinn and a Two-Face, very plausible to me. And the fact that it's in a courtroom, you know, could pull the punches on that somewhere along the line. We don't know where it's going. Look, it's not set in stone. Probably won't happen, but the fact is, it's a real plausible chance that we could see Harvey Dent turn into Two Face, and his casting being kept a mystery. Of course, why not? 
Why not? Don't let that stuff leak. Let us be surprised. The off chance, the reality is Harvey Dent's probably not even in this movie, and that's just a sign of some extra bot to the set. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are we going to get Harvey Dent? Harvey Tuesdays in Joker 2. Are, are you excited to see Harley Quinn and Joker get together and sing some songs in the song of dance? Thanks, everybody, for watching, and don't forget, may you be the masters of your own universe.